fire for them fire for them if you're looking for that 35 bag umbrella and all damn thing there keep it locked with this dynamics podcast 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 Yo, what's going on, people? Monday morning news. By the time you're watching this, England would have either won the Euros or lost. Whichever way, I hope you're not happy with the result. Um, I'm not going to say my particular opinion on that. But let's get straight into it. The first bit of news, to me, I think it's the most important one. It's absolutely insane. The president of Haiti was assassinated. Yes, assassinated. So Haitian president, uh, Jovenel Moïse, was assassinating his home in the capital. Uh, Port-au-Prince on July the 7th. A group of gunmen, a massive group, almost 30 men, broke into his home around 1am. Um, they shot him 12 times. He was found laying on his back with, um, of course, loads of blood. Uh, there was bullet holes in his forehead. Um, his left eye was gorged out. He, Of course, he was soaking in blood. And several, to his, several bullet wounds to his torso. There was casings found all over the residence or whatever. Um, his first lady, his wife, um, Martin, she, Martine, she was also shot, but she survived, thankfully. She's in stable condition. Um, their elderly daughter, or their, most, their eldest daughter, she managed to be unharmed. She hid in her brother's bedroom. I think her two other brothers were currently at a safer location at the time, and they're on her. So according to footage that hasn't been verified yet, you can see the gunmen um, come in a in white US um, white SUVs. You could see them make like somebody lay down, and they were speaking of Atano in English, saying this is the DEA, DEA. So that's the the drug US drug agency. So if anyone's watching our cast or any other type of shows, you know who the DEA are. But obviously, this is not the DEA. They they pose as the DEA. There was obviously so obviously of course so they managed. This is how they managed to get in and assassinate him. And of course, on on upon their escape, like 24 hours later, um, they were blocked off by police and which led to a fierce, fierce gun battle. Um, Several of them fled to a diplomatic area that belongs to Taiwan and eventually they were arrested there. So, so far, I think, so 17 have been apprehended. I think 11 were arrested at that place. Uh, Three have been found dead. One was found dead on the roof. So obviously he clearly was shot during the gunfire and as he was hiding he bled to death on the roof and obviously two were found later they found two bodies later on in and around the presence i mean the residency of the president so not too far from residency so there was 28 of them three total dead 17 arrested and eight remain at large um in terms of their where the people are from two are haitian american and the remaining 26 were colombian so the gist is that people believe these are hired to kill mercenaries um like they're not people from the country so haitian officials are convinced these men were mercenaries paid to kill the president acting prime minister claude joseph said that the president had opposed um some oligarchs in the country and they'll believe that these things are not without consequences so that's what he's been hinting at so he believes so it seems that he's hinting that these people were responsible um However, on Friday, um, Stephen Wernar, a prominent opposition politician and former senator, told the local radio station that the president was assassinated by his own guards, not the Colombians. So there is some gist from the Colombian press that, yo, these people came in like an hour and a half before things got jiggy. So there's some conspiracy theorists or con- some alternative views that maybe his own guards were in on this Like people don't know. So there's no question that the president had... Um, who was previously a banana exporter, had enemies um, during his presidency. His critics accused him of embezzlement and using gangs to intimidate his opponents. And, of course, he always rejected this. In 2018, there were widespread protests where he tried to raise the price of fuel. And early in 2021, there was a dispute over his length of term and this saw powerful figures calling him to step down. The fact that he ruled by decree for the past year and a half um, after the country failed to hold parliament elections as planned in 2019, triggered accusations that he was turning increasingly autocratic. But um, there was an attempt to kill him in February, and some people thought that this was kind of like a hoax to kind of, do you know what I mean, to spin the narrative, but boy, we're not too sure if it's um, linked to this. So rest in peace, this gentleman. With Haitians, if you lot hate him, just give me the information and I'll take that back, do you know what I mean? But this is just insane. 
um, it is it's strange to see presidents being assassinated. I think this is the second ever uh, president to be assassinated. The last time a, a Haitian president was assassinated was in 1915. So that was more than 100, and, 100 years ago. Now, we're going to move on to the COVID theme. And yes, on Mon well, as you're hearing this, a week ago on Monday, Boris said, the day you're hearing this, which is Monday the 12th, that's when they'll confirm that we will be leaving lockdown restrictions on July 19th. So what does this mean? So this is the step four of the lockdown easing and all legal obligations around COVID outside of test and trace and of course, um, isolation um, and the travel rules will be lifted. So that means weddings are out back in full effect, clubs are back in full effect. There's no shishas back. There's nothing that can be restricted due to the terms of covid um all the stuff like wearing a mask and social distancing all that type of stuff is up to discretion of the person so it's not now legally obliged to do these things there's no you could have a house party there's no limits on meeting up indoors so matt hancock he continued to do hanky banky if he shall likes you know what i mean so from now on basically people unless something mad happens we're looking free um Boris did say that, of course, like if things get hectic, do you know what I mean? They'll spin the block. But although they expect the cases to rise, they could be they could be hitting 50,000 a day. But due to the vaccination, the link, there was, a, there was a correlation before early last year for those who followed me. So the higher there was cases, the higher there was hospitalizations and the higher the deaths were. Because obviously, naturally, the more people get COVID, that means the more people are going to get sick. And the more we get sick, that means the more people are going to die. However, with these vaccinations... Although more and more people are testing positive, a lot less people are going to a hospital, a lot less people, and even a lot less people are dying because of two factors. One, elderly people, the people that are most at risk, almost all of them have been vaccinated and they've been shielding for a long time. And two, so many people getting vaccinated. And the vaccine has shown to reduce the risk of hospitalization and even lower the risk of death. So those are some bits of good news. So some updating some of the rules from August 16th, people who have been fully vaccinated like myself and many of millions of like over 37 million people in the UK currently have been fully vaccinated. When they fly to Amber countries, the current rules is if you fly to an Amber country, you're going to have to quarantine for 10 days. You're going to have to take two PCR tests on day two or day eight, or you could do the more expensive test to release on day five. Now, for us people who have been fully vaccinated, so that's for about over 30 odd million people in the country, if you now fly out to Amber country, you don't need to quarantine anymore upon your arrival. And another update to the rule is that if you've come into contact with somebody that has um, COVID, tested positive for COVID, if you are fully vaccinated under the age of 18, you do not also have to self isolate. So here's some updates to the COVID rules. So that's some things to give you people them. Now, speaking of COVID, the Olympics. So I think it's 23rd of July. We have an Olympics in Tokyo. That's what happened last year. Just like the Euros, they've been postponed because of COVID. Now, the Olympics in Japan will be held largely without spectators. Um, I dropped it like a month and a half ago that the mess, um, foreign spectators are not going to be allowed to come to Tokyo because of COVID. So Olympics minister um, Tomayo um, Manokawa made the announcement after talks to the officials and organisers on Thursday. There's a state of emergency that's been enlisted by the Prime Minister. Um, Yoshi, Yoshi, yo, hold on. Yoshi, Heidi, Yoshi, hold on. okay, Mr. Sugar, or Sugar. <laughs> I need to be sick at pronouncing names from all other countries. I don't want to bastardise nobody's name. So the PM said that this state of emergency will run from the 12th of July to the August of 22nd. Of course, this will consume the Olympic Games. So part of these rules is no alcohol to be served at bars and restaurants. And bars and restaurants have a curfew of 8 p.m. So remember, we had a 10 p.m. curfew and people were down bad. Imagine an 8 p.m. curfew. Um, so there'll be no spectators in attendance out apart from stadiums in the regions of Fukushima, Miyagi and Shizuka. They were permitted to have um, spectators up to 50% capacity or up to 10,000 people. So no more than 10,000 people will be in these venues. Um, so to so give you some information on the current cases in Tokyo, it's completely different to us. So 2,180 new cases reported in the country. Uh, 920 of those were in Tokyo. And that's up from 714 in the previous week. And that's the highest 
since the 13th of May. Uh, to give you some comparison to us, let me for search it now. So according to the 10th of July, we had 32,000 cases. But the difference is way more people have been vaccinated in our country compared to um, to Tokyo. So currently, I've got it right here, 86.9% of the adult population have had first dose and 65.6% have had have been completely vaccinated. So as I said before, 34 million people have been completely vaccinate, vaccinated and 40, almost 46 million people have been have had at least one dose in the UK. Now, if we look at Japan, okay, in Japan, 21 million people have been fully vaccinated and 57 million people have been given dosages. So they have picked up more in recent times it was a lot slower six weeks ago but still it's not to the adequate population enough but they seem to be more cautious than we are in the uk now finally i find this very interesting the pentagon took it about 10 billion for the account so the pentagon that department of um, department of defense in the united states they had a 10 billion dollar contract for their cloud services and obviously amazon and microsoft are batting out for this Microsoft won it and Amazon were like, no, 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 we think something, you know what I mean? We didn't get a fair shake. So what happened was um, the Pen Department of Defense have canceled this contract after this led to legal battle. And it's now announcing a new contract looking for proposals from both cloud services and they'll both get all, well, they'll both get something. Um, so this is for the Jedi project. So that's the Joint Enterprise and Defense Infrastructure. <coughs> This is to modernize the Pentagon's IT operations for services rendered over as many as 10 years. So Microsoft originally awarded this, but Amazon were disputing this. And this is simply because they were like, yo, Trump has bias against us and Jeff Bezos. So we think, you know what I mean? This wasn't fair. So we'll see who gets the all round contracts and what happened there. But I just find the numbers astronomical, $10 billion. Absolutely insane. So, yes, people, that's the news for this week. Let me know what you lot think. Comment below. Subscribe on Instagram. Not Instagram. YouTube, where you're listening to this right now. And obviously, check out the podcast. A new one will be on your head tops this week. And yeah, until next week. Peace.